Hey, big ups guys, how you doing? I haven't done a live stream on Do It All Ceiling for a while. This is just gonna be a short one, maybe half hour to 45 minutes. I'm just here with uh, Kevin K, of course, and you see the uh, speed bump behind me. We're just gonna be shaving uh, that down uh, just to lower the speed bump a little bit. We got about three um, double speed bumps, three of them to do here. So I'll just do one or two of them or half of them with you guys. Uh, and then we'll just uh, shut the stream down to continue working. But uh, cheers, everybody. It is another season. Uh, you know, asphalt, do it all ceiling. Cheers, guys. Of course, uh, 2022. Uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in today. Like I said, just do a short one. Big ups, Mike Family in the house. Not sure how many people are going to be in the house, but uh, we did put the community posts out. Great, excellent. Like, share, subscribe. And um, yeah, I guess we'll get to work. I've got the comments here, of course, on my nifty nifty uh, uh, tablet. So um, what this involves is just uh, using a propane torch to heat up the existing asphalt, shave down or shave the top layer of asphalt uh, off, reform it, reheat it up, and recompact uh, it with the uh, hand tamper, and then we move on. So uh, good to see everybody. Um, hey, Tex Mex, how you doing? Shines in the house. Be more on. Yes, it is back to work. So um, I'm just going to get set up here. Uh, we're just going to move the equipment over. It's not going to take too long to do each one, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, guys. Cheers. Propane torch. Boop, how you doing? Hey, Scratch and PPA, how you doing? Check out his channel too. He just did a uh, premiere. Does it every uh, Tuesday. Bob B, Menno Kate, how you doing? Oh, we got 21 people in the house already. That's uh, that's quite amazing. <laughs> all right, let's get all set up here for a second. All right. unless I can just use the shovel to shave it all off. Keep the rake anyway, just in case. John, how you doing? Vaughn in the house. 25 people, give me a thumbs up. Birthday celebration. 
celebration this week. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's not the same. This is the easiest way and quickest way, believe me. Grinding it, making dust, this is the fastest way. I'm pretty good at this stuff. We're going to go halfway and then we're going to stop because we still have to allow traffic to go through. That's uh, okay, yeah. I can't see. 30 something, Chief 30 Charlie's something. in the house. Okay. Ah, Chief Charlie in the house, big ups, man. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Global FM is still in the building. Good to see you, Mike. How you doing? Ah, hard hat. Definitely don't need a hard hat on this one. Shies are back at work and working hard. Big ups. Thanks for the 10 bucks, man. Shies are not necessary. Very much appreciated, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that, man. Didn't have to do that. Hey, Shies are doing beers and cheers later. most of the low spot there so this side is all done I'll reheat it again tamp it down to give it that smoothness again and this is all garbage you kind of get an idea how high these things were some of the 
different people's exhausts and whatnot were scraping. Of course, the snow plows gouge pieces out of it as well. When we're done with these, we'll uh, paint them. taken the top layer off so it uh, some of it uh, underneath is not uh, not so hot like not as hot so it won't compact and it'll just look like a little bit of a mess so. yeah, something like that Josh. Uh, I don't advertise actually it's, uh, so I've been doing it for about 20 years I'm pretty established even though work work kind of finds me word of mouth Property manager talks, talks to property manager. Uh, driveway ceilings a little bit different. You could go to door to door or you have previous customers, but 98% of my work is repeat business or referral business. I actually do not do any advertising. I haven't done any advertising at all besides bag signs if I'm doing driveway ceilings. Ah, uh, we'll see. Oh, I'd rather be in the national, of course, uh, crew chief, absolutely. Junior, pick up. Good to see you. Pick up the cool one now. All right, here we go. Let's do this. This is where if anything's uneven, you have to fix it now. If you want to move some over, 
try not to get too many of the big rocks in one area. It seems to be it's, it's as good as it's going to be. Better than it is to plow the gouge and everything. Trouble with asphalt is the more you rake, the more the big stuff floats to the yeah. top. So the key is to try to rake without raking too much. There we go. Now it took about an inch off that uh, point. Perfect. Any lower, it wouldn't be a speed bump anymore. Bad the other way. If I refresh, I can. Uh, 35 people in the house. Cheers, guys. That's awesome. Oz, how you doing? Building the speed bump. I'm, I'm uh, lowering the speed bump. Actually, I've never shown this on the channel before, but yeah, there is some crazy jobs that we do uh, that we do have to do. Uh, Noni, how you doing? Cheers, guys. Good to see you guys. Don't forget beers and cheers tonight. Around 9 o'clock, we will be live. The uh, countdown to the uh, Cowboys Mosh will be coming up.
So let's shave that. This is something that a lot of uh, a lot of paving guys or asphalt guys don't know how to do this. Uh, you know, they would just rip this out and redo it. But there's always ways of, you know, saving asphalt. And I've learned a lot of the techniques to even blend in asphalt. Once we put paint, it'll uh, cover a lot of the imperfections. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a lot better than it was. All right. Half is 
done. We uh, let this cool off. We're gonna put some pylons. We got some pylons. drive around to the next one or what are you gonna do? Next one over here. Oh you're just gonna go, go that way, yeah. yeah yeah. Yeah just go straight. Uh how long are we live for? How long does that take? Uh, not long. Not long at all. What do we do? Maybe uh oh god 26 minutes. Maybe we'll do another half and then we'll end. You guys wanna see me do one more? I'll do one I'll do one more one more half and then we'll end then. Just gonna keep a short live stream today. Sometimes we do longer live streams. So we've we've paved full driveways before. Uh, uh, you know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll do another half. Yeah, we've got uh, three of them to do. Three both sides. I don't know if we'll... We might even finish today. I don't know. It'd be nice if we do, but... We'll do another half. Cheers. Yeah, why not? All right. Let me just get this up on the trailer. We'll drive around to the next one. It's a lot of work, that's for sure. Yeah, Rusty Dodge. Yeah, you know, so funny. Two years ago, there wasn't an ounce of rust on my truck. Last two years, the whole truck was stuck in the So, as uh, this whole video stay, uh, stay tuned for, <laughs> I'm going to be doing some uh, body work, welding, uh, body panels, arc, uh, some new wheel arcs. Uh, <laughs> you name it, I'll be doing it on the truck. Maybe, you know.
when that torch has been on for a while, you can imagine the end of it is like bright red. Scary looking. The trouble with the propane is we use more than it's able to make at a time. So we constantly have to roll the tanks around like that.
that's what I mean. They turn around, they turn off after a while. Propane tank can last a couple of hours, but you can hear the one that he's using is getting a little, a little bit weak. We're almost done, so it doesn't matter now. But if I take this propane tank and just roll it the other way, you're gonna hear the thing get a little bit louder. Propane is uh, always evaporating, so this is burning the gas. But when you fill up propane, they're filling up liquid. So you either have, you're either burning liquid propane or uh, vapor. So this is vapor. So if you use more vapor than what it's making, you have to wait for the propane to boil over. drive around the other side and do the uh, third one and then we got to do the other sides and that I think we're gonna finish today actually which is great good news price of gas I put a hundred bucks in my uh, truck didn't even fill half of it up <laughs> yeah are... Jeff got the wake-up call he hasn't been around to no. buy gas I mean Americans uh, you know you, you know we're paying the uh, paying, paying what, like, uh, four or something a gallon down there man this is you guys got it easy compared to this can we guess what the price of gas was before Jeff took off to the States. 127. It couldn't have been. 127 or 135? Oh, please ish, tell me ish. no. Yeah, oh. it was. This is, this is how badly I've yeah, been conditioned now yeah. that I don't even remember yeah. glory days like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. They put pylons and then we're uh, good to go. Can you imagine today paying a dollar twenty-seven for gas? It'd be like a dream. 
I paid uh, two oh four nine yesterday or something like that. I've seen it at two eleven. Yeah, it's expensive, right? Ed, cheers. Yeah, it was about dollar twenty, right? Says that Jay. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy. Two thirty-three. Scheiser, where's that in Ottawa? Wow, what a situation. A leader, yeah. Yeah, it's nuts. Times are now three. Yeah, don't forget in six hours we're going live on beers and cheers. If you already don't have that subscribed, beers and cheers. Make sure you sub that up. Yeah, thanks for that, uh, Mike, dropping the link. There we go, yep. And beers and cheers. Actually, you know what I can do now? I totally forgot I can change the uh, channel link. For beers and cheers, I never bothered doing that. Thanks, Mike, for that. Yep, our bots are not dropping the links. Check out beers and cheers. Mike's, uh, I've got that comment pinned above. That we were laughing, not laughing, but you know what I mean, laughing, when the day that uh, diesel overtook gas. Oh, gosh. Everybody remember that? Everybody, it's uh, it's just uh, never been that way, not as long as I uh, Oh, diesel's cheaper than gas, and now, what a situation. Now it is what a situation. Oh, thanks, yeah, yeah, there we go, beers and cheers. Replace pin, that's the that's the channel. We're going to be live tonight for the uh, countdown, countdown event for Cowboys Mosh for his birthday. Uh, we're going live three hours uh, prior to midnight, of course, uh, his birthday. I imagine he'll take over a stream uh, shortly after. I'll probably only stream to about maybe one-ish in the morning, and then I'll pass it off to him. Awesome, guys. That's, that's excellent. All right, so I guess that's it for now. We're going to get back to work. I uh, just want to do a little live stream. I haven't been live on this channel for a very long time, but... Uh, Expect more, expect more videos. We're gonna really engage with this channel and all the other channels are really gonna stay focused on things. Uh, cheers, Euro Nation, big up, sub up Euro Nation. Yeah, Travel Fun 69, thank you so much, Mike. Of course, we're still gonna keep up with the live streams with that as well. Hopefully can do at least one live stream uh, a week, uh, specifically Travel Fun at least once, beers and cheers at least once a week, just to try to keep it going, right? So, and then videos, of course. All right, guys. So that's cool. That's it for today. We're gonna keep it. Uh, we're gonna keep working. But uh, we will see you tonight, about six hours time, on beers and cheers. Stay tuned. It is the pre-birthday, the countdown for Cowboys Mosh. So there we go. We'll see you tonight on beers and cheers, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for the super chat, Shizer. Not necessarily very much appreciated. And we'll see you tonight, nine o'clock, six hours. See you then. Ciao. Cheers, guys.